everybody. Today we're going to be making a lace leather dop kit that Kilina designed. Um, dop kits are always a really cool, nice gift to give someone. Um, this is a toiletry bag, shaving kit, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's laced. We've been doing a lot of lace projects lately. You guys have been making the most beautiful pieces with the lace patterns. It's awesome to see. Um, so make sure if you post your work on Instagram, whatever, tag us. We love to see it. Um, this is a really simple project and it's always kind of one of those things that people want to make, but and myself included, but there aren't a ton of patterns out there that are very fairly simple. This is a quick make, about an hour and you're done and you have a beautiful piece. Um, so this main body piece will come in three, when you print it out in the PDF, it's three pieces of paper. Um, all you're going to want to do is there's an overlap here. So you just overlap that and then tape it together. I'd usually tape both sides. And then what I like to do is uh, I'll actually punch out the holes. I'm using a 3 16th inch punch and then I'm gonna use quarter inch lace. Um, I usually like to go up about a 16th of an inch between my lace size and the hole size. Um, and we're using a chrome tan leather because it's a toiletry bag. So there's gonna, if you put a wet toothbrush in it, you know, the chrome tan just gives a little extra protection against the water. So on this dot kit, um, this strap that goes around here adds a ton of structure to the base of the bag. So you don't have to install it this way, but I would highly suggest doing so. Um, I haven't put it in the pattern yet, but it will be in the pattern. So if you want to do that, what I'm going to do is mark this out manually. But all you have to do is a three quarter inch, or three quarter inch, I think, slot punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's gonna be a three quarter inch slot punch and a three quarter inch center bar roller buckle of your choice. Um, so we need to get those in and then we're ready to assemble. So this is called the slot punch and it does what it says it does, punches a slot. So if you have one of these, you can use this. This is a three quarter inch one and it'll fit three quarter inch strap going through it. If you do not, um, what I would do is I would take a very small punch and just punch a hole at either end and then connect them by cutting them out. So like, so you have two holes here, just cut the center part out with a ruler and you can do it the same way. This is a very old slot punch, so it's not the sharpest in the world. Okay. So I've cut out a three quarter inch strap and it's about, how long is it? A little under two feet, 21 and a half, 22 inches. So you don't need a super long strap, but you don't want to go much shorter than this. You want to make sure you can always trim off at this end. Um, but we're going to attach a buckle now. I'm going with this, what's the, uh, this is the B6226 is the number. Someone asked me how, you can just click the link in the description for all these this stuff, but someone asked me to tell what style, because Buckle Guy has so many styles, which I agree with. So um, I'm gonna just read it off to you from now on so that you know if you wanna grab this buckle. I like the style buckle, because um, it's got a little, a little flair to it, but it's not too stylized. And it's um, really easy to, to use. It's very smooth too, the finish is crazy on these. So we're gonna use one of these and we need our slot punch again. So we're gonna go over to the cutting mat and punch our slot for, there's always a little rubber thing. You can leave that on if you're gifting it to someone. And we're gonna go over here and what I've done is I've taken, I'm, we're gonna do this a no measure way. So all I've done is I've taken a buckle I've bent it around, I'm just, we just need one rivet. We don't need much else. This isn't gonna be a super high stress situation that this, stra um, this buckle is in. So we're gonna cut a slot right here and then we're gonna fold it over, punch, put a rivet in, and then we're ready to lace everything up. I keep saying we're ready to lace everything up and then doing other things before we lace things up. This is the final thing we have to do before we lace it up. So we're gonna lace this through and I'm gonna tuck this other end in to the bag itself. And this is giving, this whole strap is basically gonna give it a lot of structure. So the way I'm gonna place it is just so you can just barely see the rivet and the end of the buckle is only about a, maybe a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch from 
the bottom of that slot punch. And then we're just going to keep going. We're going to lace in and out. In and out. And this is going to look like it's too short. But once we have it all put together, it's kind of like a bifold wall, the way the inside is smaller than the outside. Well, actually, this one isn't going to look like it's too short, so never mind. <laughs> we have plenty of room. Um, we're ready to lace up. <laughs> Let's get it done. Um, so this is, you're going to want to finish all these edges before you put this together um, if it's going to be used as a shaving kit or a toiletry bag or whatever um, just to seal this up for with water. But this one's not. I'm just going to throw pencils and pens in it. So I'm going to leave the na edges natural because I actually like watching to see how um, leathers I'm not super familiar with age. And this is a Newberry Leathers product, which is something we haven't had for long term because it just came out a few months ago. So. With these side panels, all we're going to do, it's a pull-up leather, so we get some cool pull-up effects here, is we're just going to fold these in first to make like a little tray. And we can do that with this too. And we've cut ourselves some quarter-inch lace here. And after that, um, again, because this is Kaylian design, this one I haven't done it, I haven't made it yet. So you're making it for the first time with me. And I asked Kaylian, so we just let her rip? And she said, yep, let her rip. So. We're letting her rip, and it's time to time to lace this up. So we're just going to start from the front. And the only thing you need to remember is we have our handle, and our handle is going to go on the second two holes. So we just need to make sure that we add that handle in when it's time. But we're just going to be lacing from the inside out, and then we'll get we'll land on the inside and tie our knot here, and that's pretty much it. So this is the first side. We have our handle on. And as you can see, I'm just going with two simple knots. And the thing about the Newbury Leathers, Newbury, so Newbury Leathers is Buckle Guy's in-house brand of leather, right? And um, the thing about it is, that's surprising me, is it's not stretchy for a chrome tan. Like chrome tan, usually you could pull and you would get like, this would come six inches longer. This stuff has some, some real body to it, which is, which is cool. Oh, sorry, just slapped the mic there. Um, which is interesting and really great for this application. So, I mean, obviously they sponsor our videos, but for this application, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't. I've seen a lot of bags made with it. And they look really nice. Yeah, it, it, it's like it's, it's like the pull-up. The pull nice, but it's not stretchy. Mm -hmm. Like that's the thing. I like love. And... Yeah, like I love I love Chrome Excel, but it's shoe leather, so like it's super stretchy. If you make a wallet out of it, it's going to stretch out. If you make a bag, it's going to stretch out unless you stitch it. With this stuff, I'm, th I'm thinking like, it's going to be like really solid, which is super impressive. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying making this. Let's put it that way. It's, it's a nice leather to work with. And now on the second side, of course, you could also, if you wanted to do, you could put a handle on each side. Um, but I am only doing one. I'll show you how to take the corner here. So we're going to go in like this, and you want to make sure that your lace is facing the correct direction. Now we have these notches cut out, so when we fold, it goes right in. So what I did was, it's kind of weird, you have to like keep track of the direction of the lace. Um, all you want to do is just put your lace in and make sure that the back is facing up like that, then flip it, make sure that the front is facing up, and put it in the next hole, and it kind of does the rest. You see how it kind of takes the corner, and then this will fold over as you pull, and you don't want to really crank this. So if you crank it, it's going to pull everything in and it'll look bad. We want this to nicely mold, so you just don't want to crank it too hard because you want that shape. You want to, it's almost like a sculpting kind of. You want to pull and then use your finger in here to push until it's just where, just right, just where you want it. And of course it'll change over time. Um, but you have to remember 
that laced bag, leather, laced leather bags don't get looser over time, they get tighter over time. As you're putting things in them, as you're, as there's weight in them, the weight of that stuff is gonna tighten this lace. It's gonna, and we have a collection of vintage bags that are laced um, that we've studied. And that's why we are making so many lace bags right now. Um, but so you wanna make sure, you wanna err on the side. It seems counterintuitive, but you wanna err on the side in this bag specifically of lacing a little looser than you think you should. You don't want it too tight because it's gonna tighten up on its own over time. So now we're pretty much done. Um, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give our strap just a, the slightest pull. And what that's gonna do is tighten up this bottom part because everything we put in this, this strap is gonna add a bit of rigidity to. So we're gonna go through and we're just gonna pull it up and we're gonna pull it up. And you see how we have that little, it's just a tiny, a tiny little bit of a curve there, that's what you want. And then we're gonna custom size this strap. I put one hole where I think it is gonna go. Um, I'm just gonna make sure. So with this design, the buckle is gonna kinda come over the flap and that's your limiting factor basically. And then it looks like that hole is a good starting point and there's really no reason for me to put too many holes in this. So I'm just gonna put three and I'm not gonna measure anything, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Um, Cause we really can't over, this isn't the style of bag that you can really overload. Um, I'm gonna use my rotary punch that is getting really dull. I need to get new punches for it. This is 14 years old. Like on the same punch, never sharpened. <laughs> I think it's time. Yeah, so these these screw off. So this is CS Osborne, and these screw off, and you just put a new one on, and they have different sizes. Um, I've just I like wrap. I don't even know why I wrap this, but this was like one of the first nice tools that I bought. I was like, because um, rotary punches, it's hard to some some are really good. Cheap ones are really bad. The expensive ones are really good. CS Osborne is like solid quality and I think you know I was 22 at the time so I was like had to save up to get it I think it was like hundred ten dollars or something like that I don't want to brag but uh okay um once you get this put together then what you're going to want to do is we're going to go back and we're going to pull the opposite way and even it out so that everything sits nice and there we go so super killer design. Here's Kalina's in natural veg tan. Uh, this is about seven, eight ounce, seven ounces. This is the Newbury Leathers. I believe it's the South Street Tannage in Cognac. And this is also about seven, eight ounces. And they're gorgeous. I am very um, jealous that I was not the one that designed this. But you can make one. Patterns in the description. All the tools and materials we use are in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.